Hello again, what's up? I'm going to talk a little about React re-renders in this video and that is because I get a lot of questions about that and a lot of people are also very very worried about re-renders in React. You know when you write this uh, perfect component and you console log out re-render in the component and you run the application and you just see a bunch of re-renders in the console, that's what I talk about. And the thing is that you should be glad you have an application that will update and re-render. It will not keep stale data and you know that it's updating. So in my opinion, at least re-renders are actually good because then you know that your application is updating. Your components are updating themselves when they re-render. And that's a great, great thing actually. And you shouldn't actually be worried because one, if you don't have a trouble with your application, if it's running smoothly and it's snappy and you can't see any performance lag at all. You shouldn't care at all about this because then it's not a problem. So you shouldn't worry about it at all. But a lot of people worry about it when they see that, oh, this application re renders 10 times and that's no good. But if you don't have a problem with it, don't do anything because it's great that your application will re render and you won't risk that you have stale data in your application. You know that it will update and that's a good thing. And two, you should know that. If you console log out re-render, for example, and you see it in your console in the browser, that doesn't mean that the complete DOM is updated. React has something that's called a virtual DOM, meaning that it won't update the actual DOM in the browser with everything React re-renders. It will diff those changes in the virtual DOM with the, so to say, real DOM in your browser, and it will only update those elements that, that actually changes between re renders. And that means that doing something in the virtual DOM is not as costful as it is to update the real DOM. So you shouldn't worry about those re-renders because that doesn't mean that your complete application updates. It only means that React will update those components that actually have changed in the real DOM. So in my opinion, it doesn't matter if you have 1,000 re-renders. If it don't slow down your performance in the application, you shouldn't care about it at all. Because if you start to memoize stuff and use callback, use memo and all of this stuff, you will end up with an application where the code is more cluttered. It will be harder to read and you have a lot of stuff that you actually don't need if your application don't suffer from performance is issues. And I've been working on large applications in React and I'm currently working on one now where we have a lot of tables, for example, and uh, thousands of rows and stuff. And then it can be an issue with re-renders. And then you can use something, for example, in a table that's called uh, virtualization, where, where you, uh, so to say, you only show the items that currently in the scroll position in the table. So it won't render other stuff that you can't see in the table. And that will affect performance in a good way because you don't have to render all these uh, thousands of thousands of rows in the table at the same time. And I also use... Uh, some memoization stuff in that application. And that's mainly for, we have this form in this application where you can fill out a lot of metadata fields. So it's a huge, huge, huge form with stuff that you can fill in. And we don't want to send this away to the API right away. So I collect this data in, in uh, and now I'm using a ref actually for that one because I don't need to re-render the application to just collect that data. But if I was putting it in the state, for example, and the app should re-render all the time, then it would be a performance issue. And I actually tried that one with all these form fields and it didn't work that well. So in that case, you have to do some uh, performance uh, optimization, but otherwise I don't care at all if it re-renders. Because if it's not an issue, you, you should be glad that you have those re-renders in um, React. So React has a diffing algorithm that will kick in when you change something and check if something has changed in the real DOM. And it goes into something that's called a reconciliation. I think that's the correct pronunciation for that one. So the reconciliation phase in React will diff the virtual DOM with the real DOM and only change those elements that actually change on this render. So React is pretty optimized from the start, but I know there's a lot of people that are worried when they see those re-renders in React. But I think that you should see them as, as something good that means that your application is updating. And that's something good. You won't have stale data in your application, especially when you work with 
APIs and stuff like that, it's a good thing to re-render because you probably need to fetch some new, new stuff. Otherwise, you will have old data and stuff like that in your application. So I think it's a good thing. So remember, start loving those uh, re-renders in React. And also remember, if you like my stuff here, please subscribe and hit that notification button so you know when I release something new on my channel. And spread the word. I want this channel to grow also. So hope you're having a good time. See you in another one.